No good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from briars. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And the evil man brings evil out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of his heart, his mouth speaks. Now let me give you the helicopter view of this important passage of Scripture. Here it is. Jesus is saying that your words and behavior, wife, and your words and behavior, husband, are more formed, shaped, caused, directed by what's inside of you than what's outside of you. Your words and behavior are more caused by what's inside of you than what's outside of you. No, no one believes that. I'm counseling, let's say, a couple that has an angry, tense, conflictual marriage, and I ask the husband, what's wrong with his marriage? Who do you think he's going to talk about? He's not going to talk about himself. He's going to talk about his wife because he's convinced that the thing that The things he's doing are caused by her. And if I ask the wife what's wrong with her marriage, she's not going to talk about herself. She's going to talk about her husband. Now, at that point, as a counselor, I'm out of a job. Do you understand why? Because there are no seekers in the room. The husband's only there to get his wife fixed. The wife is only there to get her husband fixed. No one actually wants my help. How can you have two utterly righteous people and a messed up marriage? What's up with that? Doesn't make any sense. Hear this radical truth. This is the way, there's a place we have to start. Wives, look at me. I mean it. Your husband is never the cause of what you do and say. He may be the occasion, but he's not the cause. Husbands, look at me. Your wife is never the cause of what you do and say. She may be the occasion, but she's not the cause. Enough of the blame game. Enough of keeping lists. Enough of pointing fingers. It does not work. Now, to help us understand what he's talking about, Jesus says, don't you understand, you live out of the heart. You speak out of the heart. Now, what is he talking about there? What is this thing, the heart, that he's talking about? Well, the Bible essentially divides the human being into two pieces, your outer man and your inner man. Your outer man is your physical self. It's the house that God has designed for your heart while you're here on earth. Like astronauts have a space suit, you could call your body your earth suit. Someday we're going to get a new suit. And some of us are excited about that. I think I heard some amens. And then the Bible talks about the inner man. It uses many terms to the inner man. Mind, emotion, spirit, soul, will. And they're all collected by wing one big basket term, the term heart. That term is used in hundreds and hundreds of passages of Scripture. It's one of the most well-developed themes in all the Bible. I am convinced you cannot understand the message of the Bible unless you understand the Bible's theology of the heart. Now, I want to give you a definition. So when you're reading your Bible, you come across the word heart, you will know what the Bible is talking about. Here's a definition. The heart is the causal core of your personhood. The heart is the steering wheel. The heart is the directional system. The heart shepherds, guides, shapes, motivates your words and behavior. Now, to help us to understand that principle and its importance, Jesus uses two very helpful illustrations. The first is your talk. Jesus says, it's out of the heart that the mouth speaks. Have you ever said to someone, 
ooh, I didn't mean to say that. What would be more biblical to say is please forgive me for saying what I meant. You get the point? You see, if it, if it hadn't been in your heart, it wouldn't have come out of your sweet lips. Everything, wives, that comes out of your mouth was there already. Everything, husbands, that comes out of your mouth was there already. 